This is the gunk. I don't know a lot about it, but it's from Image Informed Games, which just makes me assume it's going to be good. Hey, Bex, anything on the scanner up there? Ah, the signal's gone, and I'm getting a bellyache just thinking about the fuel expense of landing on this dud. Sure, we thought we'd already be on another delivery job, but that energy spike definitely came from this place, and I'm already geared up back here. All right, all right. Somebody's knocking at my door. Let me get to a point where I can pause. Okay, just one second. That was just my son. He needed a snack. And actually, this should probably be my last video because I should probably go make him a proper lunch. Uh, so thank you for your patience, those of you who are watching me on Twitch. If you're watching this on YouTube later, I'm pretty sure I cut that out so it only lasted about a second and a half. Approaching drop point. You secured? All right, hooked up and... <sighs> Damn it. The power glove's acting up. Again? What'd you use to mend it? Super glue? Super glue? Why not just solder it? Because we're out of zinc for the alloy. Excuse me, what? Solder it? <laughs> I understand. That's how I used to read that word, too, until I found out that the word was solder. <laughs> Just, sorry. Uh, it's one of those weird things where it's like, when somebody mispronounces words, what it actually usually means is that they're a reader, that they read words, uh, and that they learn a lot of words and don't actually learn how to pronounce them because they learn them from books. And so that's actually not that bad. Actually, one of my favorite podcaster podcasters, uh, Robert Evans, constantly mis mispronounces words but it's because he's a reader. And, uh, and so it's, it's actually an endearing part of, uh, of, of listening to him. Anyway, so this is, uh, this is probably a case of that. I used the last rod to patch up the hydro scanner. No solder rod, no coffee, only one beer left. Sick of having gruel for lunch. Being poor sucks. All right, here we go. Weather. Pretty sure the ship's insurance won't cover alien storm damage. Okay, let's see. Can I invert my camera? Yes, I can. There we go. Hey, our dust bunny's tough. If she could talk, she'd say she want us to land and go explore. No, you want us to land so you can go explore. One up to you, Captain. Since when am I the captain? We took the loan together. We both have to pay the mortgage. Hmm. Ah. So, so far, traditional 3D platformer. This. Hey, here's something. You feel like analyzing some scan data? That's what we're here for. Scan away. By the way, let me know if my audio is appropriate for the background sound. I'm worried that I might have the game tuned a little high. Just a basic composite of silicate. No energy reading to speak of. So we can't sell it? Not unless we find a million of them. By the way, I kind of, I like this idea of characters who own a spaceship, but who are so in debt up to their eyeballs that they're starving. You know, Cowboy Bebop? Wait, the signal's back. Weaker though, and I can't get a clear reading. There's some stuff down here causing interference. Come take a look. It's Cabo Bebop. What in the There's world? The Expanse, full of characters like that. That sense of like a mix of like power you can do these amazing things, but you're also desperate. It's an interesting combination of sort of emotions to build uh, huh. a situation. A lot around. of gunk. Yeah, that's an apt name for it. Can you scan it without getting too close? I don't know what's in it. Looks like snot. If it is, I don't want to meet something that. Keep your mask on. Seems to be some sort of organic compound. Luckily, I don't think it's snot. Think you can use your glove to clean it up? 
All right, what do you say, pumpkin? Can we clean it up? What's up with the radio reception? I've got a vacuum! Yes! Very satisfying. Whoa. It's beautiful. Interesting is what it is. Give me that data. <gasps> you sure you didn't get super glue in the scanner? A hundred percent. Why? The pattern kind of looks like the signal we got before, just weaker. If the reading is right, this stuff's got some energy potential. For real? Keep your head screwed on. Puddle's not much to write home about. But if we can find a bigger deposit, I think we should look for a place to land. Sweet! Light the way! Oh, 50, 50 gamer score? For that? I feel almost like I cheated. Is this the way to go? <sighs> not getting through here. Hmm. More gunk on the other side of these nasty vines. Pick him up. Plug it a little bit. So it's funny. So this mechanic is reminding me actually of a pitch that I heard a long time ago. The the first studio I worked at, Amaze Entertainment. There's this guy named Christo, who um, had this idea. We had just adapted our internal game engine uh, to work for the Wii, and people were thinking about like, well, what can you do with the Wii controller? And he had this idea. He brought in a shop vac and a bunch of random objects and had us all vacuum things off a table and say, and, and, and note how good it felt, how satisfying it was to like suck things up off a table and feel an object get sucked into a vacuum. And so for a while, he was actually working on a prototype of, uh, of a game where you would use a Wii remote to vacuum things up. And then unfortunately, Elebits came out and it was really similar to that idea. Uh, and it ended up not being something that the, the company was in a position to do anyway. So can I scan this? No. I can't vacuum it. Does that mean I need to be going somewhere else? This 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 glowing thing is is it, it feels like it's telling me this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm I'm loath to leave it, but I, I can't see anything I can do with it. Okay, well, I can't go back that way. So th this is classic, classic 3D platformer level design where you make them jump down something that's just high enough they can't go back so they don't get confused. Ooh, okay. So don't, so... If we find more of that substance, our poor days might be over. I could get a garden of my own back home. What would you do? Pay our bills? I meant after that. I know. But I don't dream big until I know it's within my reach. A dream, Bex, is something that's out of our reach. Otherwise, it's called an option. I like the dialogue so far, by the way. I think, is this the first time that Image and Form has actually done voiceover in one of their games? Has it all just been uh, text to read with little wonky sounds? Huh. I'm surprised all this geometry can be crammed in here. I feel like I'm just still right next to where I was before. Aha! Yellow stains can be grabbed. That's a thing the video game has taught me. Video games have taught Whoa. me. You okay? Yellow stains are sticky. Yeah, just some shape. <laughs> Nothing major. Am I back where I started? Is this the same crystal stuff as before? At least it's, it's the same type of stuff. I don't know if it's the exact same stuff. There's an open space over these cliffs. Can you make it through? Anything for my captain. <laughs> enough of the captain thing. This place seems like it's big enough for the bunny, right? Yeah, but I can't take her down until that gunk's gone. Care to clean it up? Oh yeah, it'll be our pleasure. Here? Yeah, it looks like we gotta get closer. Oh, 
Oh, okay, so hold LT for precision. So right now, if I'm not holding LT, my character just zaps in whatever direction she's facing physically. But if I hold LT, then she follows the camera with it. Oh, that's interesting. So whichever whichever preset you have in your head, like whichever thing feels most comfortable to you, the game supports it. If you, if you mostly floor, play like classic 3D platformers like Mario or Psychonauts or something. Think of like pollution? Whatever it is, it's messing with my gear. Hurry up and take it away. Then you might just assume that, you know, the fake scene of your character should be the way that it goes. But if you play a lot of, say, third-person shooters, like, say, Max Payne or State of Decay, then aiming with LT is going to feel the most comfortable. And they just make sure that whatever your habit is, it works. It sure is nice when it's gone. Hope it helps with the signal. But this is pretty sad. This actually kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh, I don't know, I've been, I, start, I started watching, like, satisfying videos on YouTube sometimes when I want to relax. And this feels like one of those. Just sucking up all this stuff. I didn't think that was it. Whoa! Did you see that? Amazing! What did I even do? The gunk must be suppressing the plant life somehow. Alright, make way. Coming down. I like the dust bunny. Don't wander off this time. You got third. Maybe you should take a look at his code. Yesterday he ran all of my tools through the washing machine. Uh, yeah. That storm was rough, and I don't like the look of that river. I'll run some diagnostics on Bunny just to be safe. Now? I was thinking we could do some exploring. Together? Avoid the boring stuff, you mean. No, I just thought... I know, Ronnie, but I have to take care of the ship first. Look, I'm running a constant scan for the energy signal. Why don't you remove some more gunk and see if we pick it up again? Okay, if you say so, Cap. <laughs> Just be careful. I like that there's... This looks interesting. Check the data for me, please. What's up with your attention span? Aren't you gonna clean up some gunk? It's really compact. Looks like it could burst any minute. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Let's plant it. Aren't you to clog the plant to your glove? Felix, I can't rip it off. The roots deep underground. You need a proper fix for the glove. If you find some metal ore for the soldering alloy, you could repair it once and for all. If we're gonna stick around here for a while, I'm really going to need it. Okay. So now they're introducing one of the, uh, it's probably going to be one of the major systems of this game, which is I got to upgrade myself by collecting resources, but the resources are going to be weird. Like, some of them are going to be like, oh, you collected whatever number pieces of metal, but then some of them are going to be, I grab a single plant, grab it in my glove, and probably have to take it home. That's the vibe that I'm getting from this. Can I get up here? Okay, so each pile of gunk has got this, like, radius around it. You can see the sort of, like, red outline. And that's probably the area that it's affecting. So if I can figure out a way up there... Hmm. Oh. This glowing stuff sure looks interesting. I wonder... What are you up to? Since this is not worth harvesting, I might as well throw that seed thing in there and see what happens. Take cover, Kurt. But wait, I don't have the seed thing. So I need to get I need to get these metal metal resources. Okay, so I'm betting this is gonna be my way up there. Right? Maybe? There's like a seed thing that I can pick up and put in there. Maybe it'll be my way up. Or maybe it'll just be a source to, for some other resource. Or maybe I don't know. I don't know what to expect. There's a lot of things that can happen here. That looks like something that might become a bridge at some point. It's interesting that they're not really giving me a lot of guidance here. Like, 
I've got to run around and figure out what I'm supposed to do. This feels pretty old school. Anyway, I was saying earlier, I think, that, that I really like these characters have this sort of relationship with a little bit of, like, conflict in it, but it's like, you know, big sister, little sister kind of conflict. Not like these people hate each other and why are they working together. Ugh. Like, it's very, I don't know, uplifting. <laughs> kind of nice to see people, you know, very different people working together, getting along. Let's see what this is. Not quite sure what I'm looking for. Is this what I need? Could be useful. Just not for soldering your glove. Keep looking. Okay. I, w I really need them to stop saying the word soldering now. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so... So collecting everything, so everything I'm collecting, even metal, I collect with a vacuum. Should I scan this, by the way? I guess I should. What about this? Anything we can use? All right, there's platinum in there. That should give a solid solder. Go get some more. You're not taking unnecessary risks now, huh? I never take unnecessary risks. Oh, yeah? What about that time on Beta Romulan? Ugh, that foreman didn't even listen. I warned her. That woman owes you half an arm. I could have died in that shitty mine. But instead, I got you. And this lovely glove. Oh, these levels are really <laughs> intricate. Curse me, I haven't scanned these yet. It's interesting that they decided to go with this No Man's Sky vibe here. Where you're like discovering and scanning new things, filling up a database, in addition to collecting stuff. Oh, I might have to get an angle on those. Okay, so with this like short range vacuum thing. Okay, Bex. I think I got what I need. Great, head back. I get the sense that a lot of the challenge of this game is going to be just finding the right angle to vacuum things from. Okay. Suitable for climbing. Okay, so I've got an upgrade available. Oh, wait. Use? Oh. Okay. Sweet. A shortcut. Got it. Okay, I'm here now. Cool. So, upgrades. Aha. Glove grip soldering. So it costs 20 metal. And how do I how do I trigger it? I'm pushing the A button on it. Is it just Oh, not at the workbench. It says can't install not at so where's the workbench? Is it in the ship? Yes, there it is. Okay, so now I can install it, right? Yes. Ah, uh, here we go. Good as new, Pumpkin. I'll be able to rip up that stubborn alien plant for sure. Stop chatting with your glove and just go pick the damn plant. See, I didn't realize until they started talking about it that my character actually was missing an arm. That this is not just a glove I'm wearing, but... There we go. I guess I'll just throw this ball into that glowing stuff and see what happens, right? Ooh, you got more of a green thumb than me. I love that they call it clogging the thing onto my glove, because my glove is a vacuum cleaner. So you don't grab things, you clog them. Son of a... Did you blow something up? Yeah, you could say that. I just grew myself a freaking staircase. A staircase? What? In the energy puddle? Huh, that's interesting. I'll tell you what. Why don't you tell me about it back here? I'm all done. And I'm ready for some chow. In a few minutes, okay? <sighs> the appearance of this gunk is something that you can only do with fairly modern graphics. Like, the way that it's got this little outline around the edges of it where it contacts other objects. Door. Oh, 
And there we go. There's my uh, bridge back down. And then this is where I came before. Oh, but now I know what to do with that. Is there another seed? Like, will that seed keep respawning? It does keep respawning. Okay. Ah, oh, that is also satisfying. It's like this game is just all about. Oh no 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 no! I tried to. Okay. Um. Apparently, I can't jump while I'm carrying one of those. So now what I need to do is throw it, like over there. Please don't roll. All right. That makes sense. And there we go. Whoa, this one grew even bigger. Yeah, there's definitely energy potential in this stuff. Right now, I just wish it was edible. Hey, why don't you just grab a gruel snack to hold you over? There's even some sorghum growing in the hydro. Hey, I've set up your radio as a repeater for the ship's scanner. So I'm like a walking energy detector now? Your gear should pick up the energy signal if you happen to get within range while you're out there. You know what movie this actually reminds me a little bit of? Prospect. I don't know if you would have seen that one. It's, it's a pretty small indie sci-fi movie. But it's really cool. It's about a, uh, a dad and a daughter who are in you know, dire financial circumstances who take sort of like a final trip. They can't afford to ever leave uh, unless they hit it big. So this planet would collect this rare resource from, from the bodies of Oh, I think it was from like was it from alien eggs, something like that. I don't remember all the details now, but uh, it ends up being about a lot more than just that, and it's it's a, it's a really cool story. Okay, so I could go this way, but I feel like there was another thing that opened up over here that I want to look at. Like, is there a? Yeah, there's a little place over here. What's this? This place looks promising. Seems like there's some stuff we could use here. Collect as much as you can. We've got fiber now. So this this game is an interesting combination of like classic Mario-like 3D platformer and like a crafting fest like No Man's Sky. It's such an interesting combination of genres to decide to, to tackle. Huh. It's not really a proper survival game. It's definitely, it definitely gives me the vibe of, you know, like a Mario or a Psychonauts or something like that where... Reception's bad. Maybe you should head back? I don't want to lose contact. This vegetation doesn't look right. It's like the gunk is sucking the life out of it. Let me do something about it. I'll head back soon. Promise. Yeah, you can see everything is gray around the gunk. Oh, the gunk looks so cool. Do you think the gunk wants to cause harm? Like it's, uh, you know, sentient or something? Sentient, that icky stuff? Jeez, I hope not. Finding out things are sentient, my favorite sci-fi twist ever since Starflight. So all the gray plants, which are bright and colorful, and there's a cave over there. Let's not worry about the cave right now. Let's It's this place. I'll definitely hit that cave in just a second, but... First, let's see what other kind of trouble we can get into here. So I wonder to what degree 
it's like critical to the progression of the game that I find all these collectibles. But that, that's the thing that's tough because like a game like say State of Decay where you've got a lot of say consumable things that you need to make, you know, or where, you know, your progression is kind of just up to you. It doesn't have to go a certain way. Um, we can kind of freely give you whatever resources we want to and and it's okay if your game just sort of changes based on that but a 3d platformer typically has you know very clear points where certain things need to be unlocked in a certain order in a certain time and so giving you a bunch of resources or like a flexible amount of resources where sometimes where some players might get more than others it, it puts you in a weird bind. It's all, We're breaking up. What's I'll going on? I'm very curious how they handle um, it. Um, this might take me a while after all. <sighs> Give me a break. You'd understand if you'd seen what I'm seeing. But gunk's eating everything here. Come see for yourself. Read my post on an empty stomach. Don't think so. But you're right. The gunk is a bloody nuisance. What there is, the more chance of energy pain. stuff is really cool. Like, it's gross, but... I mean, and, and you can see, they're doing a lot of fakery with how... Like, the shape that comes off it... I don't think I'm actually getting the actual material that makes up the object here. I think that I'm getting sort of an extra thing is created just to create the funnel connecting the gunk object to my glove. But it looks like it's doing what it says it's doing. Pretty convincing. Okay, so I'm gonna like get out of the way. Get out of the way. At first I assumed that I would need to destroy this thing, but. I don't have any weapons. It's kind of interesting, I don't know, way of sort of defining these characters as being some people who just, they didn't come here for a fight. They came here to mine, and actually this character is really motivated to help this planet. You know, just help all the living things that are around here. That looks like a tongue. Looks like this planet has a tongue. Or that the cave has a tongue. Gross. <laughs> uh, this might make a good thumbnail, though. Alright. Let's see what's over here. There's just so much. I keep expecting to go back to the dust bunny, but I keep finding things. They made a lot of different things for me to collect. Like, more than they had to, to serve the system. I don't know, it, when you look at, you know, the places where a game developer does more than they need to to make a system work, it kind of tells you a little bit about sort of their priorities. And I feel like, you know, they kind of decided, you know, we don't just need to give the player stuff to collect so they can, you know, serve the crafting system. Like, it was actually a big priority for them to create a highly varied and interesting looking world. You know, it wasn't enough to just give you, have like, your organic resources always look like the same object. They decided that they'd rather make a lot of different looking things. Oh, whoops. I didn't even notice that there was a mark on the ground. Alright. It looks like. Okay, we got some things to collect over here. More important, we got one of these. Ugh, again. It's been a while since so, I mailed a shot. So but maybe I still got it. Yeah, yes. This feels really some good. Some of these plants might make a nice stew. Want me to bring some back for you? I cannot be bribed with alien gumbo ingredients. Find a pack of beer or Whoa, a whoop. tin of coffee beans. Oh, whoops. I'm willing to talk. <laughs> All right, I'll keep an eye out, but don't get your hopes up. It didn't occur to me that I might slide off the end of that and die. 
I'm getting a knock at my door again. Let me just check that out for a second. That was just my son needing another snack. So uh, I'm definitely going to have to find a nice end point for this episode so that I can go make him some actual lunch. Uh, so Luis Dutcher came into the chat, uh, I think while I was out, and said, um, I'm enjoying the gunk, but the beginning is very slow. A lot of players will probably drop the game before it gets interesting. That is a challenge that you have to deal with a lot when you're creating a video game. Is on one level, you know, sometimes you just, it, you need to take your time to teach the player slowly enough how to live in your world so they're not overwhelmed and so they don't, you know, just forget each thing, you know, <laughs> like each thing that you learn, there's a risk you're going to forget the previous thing you learned because you're just racing through things too quickly. But at the same time, if you, t if you take too long, players might not even realize what your game is about until it's too late. So one of the reasons why this thing I can just grab like this and then it whoa okay instead of getting an object I get a bunch of things to vacuum up interesting so one of the reasons why I have this stream is because I actually do have a very short attention span when it comes to games sort of starting slowly and taking a while to teach you how to enjoy them um, and so one thing that helps me is having an audience what was that Having an audience that I talk things through with, because that actually makes it easier for me to get through the slow introductions of games and find out what makes them cool without just sort of losing interest in the first five minutes because they didn't grab me well enough. So far, the gunk is pretty interesting, though. I think I would have gotten this far even on my own. There's the river again. All right, there's a river. I am completely lost, by the way. If I had to try to get back to my ship right now, I would fail. Is that a thing I can scan? So this, this definitely strikes me a game where I think that um, I think Luis is right that there's a risk of why hello there you must be the one with the sweet singing voice ah you guys on the other hand are nasty all right bring it on So I can suck them up and then use them as projectiles? Interesting. Okay. Let's start backing this up. Anyway, so I think Luis is right that um, this game does risk losing players because it takes its time. Um, but so far, each new thing I've found has been really rewarding. So I think Luis is also right that it's worth it. <laughs> if players can give it the time. But you know, and I'm one of the players who often doesn't give games the time to give it. So uh, I have a lot of sympathy <laughs> for people who get into that position. But yeah, I'm glad that the audience I've got here has been helping me sort of uh, get through the interest of games. Oh, say, Luis says it'll actually open fast travel points. Uh, so that, uh, you know, getting lost and not being able to find my ship isn't a problem. Where are you going, beautiful? There's more life here than we thought, Bex. I've encountered animals. What? Really? Did they have teeth and claws? Some of them did, yeah. If you get hurt, I will kill you. <laughs> Yeah, give me ideas for new technology without giving me the resources to build them. Looks like we got one of those little puddles. I don't see what I can use. Before I go any further, let me make sure that nothing came to life behind me that I can put in that puddle. Oh, there's still some gunk outlines over here. Ooh. Yeah, let's go see what is over here. Ah, 
So Luis says that this game is very linear, but you can go back and farm resources later. So I should I don't need to be too afraid that if I miss a single resource, I'll never get it back again. Aha! So I've got that thing. So real quick, before I backtrack with that plant, let's see this what's in here. This planet is literally a paradise when the gunk's gone. Lush oh. and colorful and okay. amazing. I could just roll around and run my face in it all. I wouldn't advise that. Hard to track energy signals when you're having an allergy attack. Uh, oh, okay. Ha! Wait, no. That's not what I meant to do. Let's toss this huh. over the barricade. Sneak through. Very generous I'll of you, take these, thank you very much. But what did that do? I really should have scanned this. Okay. okay. I was hoping, yeah, so each time, whenever I choose a route, I'm hoping that the route I'm on is the dead end. Oh, says. treasure for little old me? <laughs> yes, please. Because you don't want to skip a dead end and then progress the story and have to go back for something later. Okay, so more fiber. Because it looks like each of the resources has got a few different things. It's got a version of it you can find randomly in the world. It's got like... <gasps> that was a bad plan. Um, I keep forgetting to pull the left trigger. It's got a version of it you can just find raw. It's got a, lo a plant that you can explode. <gasps> oh, fine. I guess I gotta take this in a couple steps. And then some of them so far have got like little mining veins where you can pick it up. Yeah. Okay, so they didn't do proper physics with this thing to, so they would make it more predictable. Notice it doesn't just bounce around like a normal physics object. <gasps> It, it follows a predictable path, so you can't toss it without losing it. Because I imagine that would be really obnoxious. Oh, and look how it knocks you back so that you're not in the way of that animation. You don't end up flipping with the, uh, with the platforms as they appear. No! Uh, and the question is, is that jump actually possible and I just suck? Or is that jump impossible? That's a question you never really want players to have when you're making a platform. Okay, if if a jump can be made, you want the player to know it can be made. Because question having it be questionable means that some players will give up. Yeah, so each of the different ways to get each of these resources is just slightly different from the other. Oh good, I think I forgot to scan this one last time. Hmm. Hey Ronnie, I had Kurt get a water sample from the river. It's thick with gunk. I hear ya. The stream doesn't look too inviting out here either. What if the camp gets flooded? Bunny would not approve of that. Okay, so I could, I could have climbed down over there, but I think before I do that, I want to figure out how to get up to that cliff that I this saw. This place sure is something else. By the way, earlier, Cogs suggested that in a world with, like, interplanetary travel, the phrase, what in the world, might be passe. And I don't know, I think that, you know, the, the word world is kind of, um, it's versatile. It can mean a lot of things. It can mean planet, but it can also just mean a reality, an entire universe. Uh, the word world can mean lots of stuff. So I think people will still say what in the world. 
if they still speak English at the time. Alright, this is what I saw. Okay, so this is just the way back down after I collect that metal apple. So now I'm going to take the real route. Cogs is advocating for the for the term verse from Firefly, which works, but world would also work. How far away do I have to stand? Also, it just occurred to me, do I have more? I don't actually know if there's a limit to the number of times I can stand under that. No, I don't think anything has told me that I have limited health. I think things just knock me around. I think if I fall down off of something, I need to... Oh, here we go. Never mind. When injured, leave the corrupted area to restore health. Okay, so I do have health. I just haven't needed to pay attention to it. So, that looks like something I can't see. Maybe I can get this from the other side. This game is full of interesting geometrical puzzles. Like, where do I stand to make this map? What angle do I need to get on this? It's interesting because it's very flexible, right? There's a lot of, even when there's only one solution to me, there's a lot of analog for that solution, and there's a lot of still feeling like, you know, my specific decisions matter to the outcome. Even when, in reality, you're doing... I don't get a proper meal soon. I'm going to freak out. Effectively. <sighs> Any plans of heading back? I'm following an animal, and it's the most beautiful creature I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm going to track it a little bit further. If I had a credit for every time I heard you say, I'm just going to... Anyway, e even when you're effectively doing the same exact thing as other players. Okay, so Luis says, I don't have a health bar. Uh, instead, he says the edges of the screen get stained. But apparently, uh, so I've only gotten hit by a couple of things. Apparently, I just didn't get very hurt, and then I ended up recovering by leaving the corrupted area. Okay, so I'm over here. But, aha! Can I stand on that? Probably? Nope! Okay, now again, I've got that question. This looks like something I'm supposed to be able to do. Okay, so that I can do. This also looks like something I'm supposed to be able to do. And that time it worked. That can be really, really tough to get right with a platform. Trying to, you know, make it so that things that are supposed to work always work. A lot of times people will put in guides and things to like let the character always make a particular jump, especially just something they're gonna grab onto. Letting players always make those jumps. Um, even if they get it just a little bit off because it's frustrating to think you're going the right direction and not. I assume this is probably just the secret collectible direction. The other way is pressed. So I've been playing this for a little while. I kind of expected to just do like, oh no! to just do like a half hour session and then stop but I kind of I've been looking to try to find like a satisfying end point before I end this uh, episode and then go feed my kids but it's taken a while there you are just enjoying the god rays Got a pool. Nothing to plant in it yet. A lot of junk in the back here. I think my kids would really like this. I think Calliope in particular might really like it. I don't know. I'll have to try her out on it and see.
glass. That gives me the option. That's what I thought the, um, that little icon? There's like a little, I don't know, notepad that you might have that appears in some objects in the world. I thought that this is a thing you can scan or that you have already scanned. But I think these guys had it on them for a second, but it doesn't seem like they can scan them. So what did I miss? Oh, there's more gun in here. I need to get this gun before any of it will clear. Good thing I'm not claustrophobic. Might be a little bit of Half-Life 2, actually. Okay, so this thing up the inside the cave. gunk isn't exactly alive, but, uh, but it seems like it's drawn to living things. It's like it's completely off balance. Oh, wait. My best theory, yet. The gunk is a waste product from some kind of ecosystem related process. Like, oops. You're eloquent as always. But might not be a bad metaphor. Huh. We're cleaning up poop. This is a game about cleaning up poop. I love it. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, we also cleaned out the space out here. And now we've got one of these something with. And I don't remember. Oh no, I'm stuck in a... Yeah. Oh. Can I grab it again? There we go. Nope, stuck in a hole again. Okay. Okay. This is your worst nightmare when you're building a level like this. <laughs> because you try to make it feel really organic, but really organic shapes are not great for collision at all. Mini Hood points out that the uh, the gunk is probably a better name for marketing than the poop. You're probably right. If this game had been called the poop, different You're people fast, would have wanted to play it. I wish you wouldn't run from me. I I just want to look at you. All right. So how do I? It looks like I need to cross from up there. How do I get up there? Huh. Can I get up there? Huh. Oh. Okay, wait a Oh, wait. Right. Okay, no. I don't need to get down here from up here. I need to climb up to here from there. Got it. All right. Yes. And... Is this the way I need to be going? Oh, I guess I've actually... Oh, crap. There might have been a resource I missed back there, and now I've taken an irrevocable step. Can you believe we got here before anyone else? It doesn't look like much from space. If it wasn't for your pig-headed nature, we'd have skipped right past it. Good thing, too. The big corpse would trawl every last bit of life out of this place. Yeah, our connections aren't really the sort that would spend good credits on plants. But if we find the motherload of that energy, we can thank the stars we came first. Okay, so I think this is the dead end. So we gotta do this first. Collecting all these resources that I just do not know what they're for. Scan this guy. Some kind of 
Hail Hive. Hive? That makes me nervous. Okay, get some organic stuff off it. Nice. Can't be far now. This is a very large opening level. Wait, this is... Wait, what? Oh, that was just a loop. That wasn't actually... That wasn't the main path. This is the spot I thought I had missed. But no, this is the main path. Awesome! Okay, I, I chose the right way to go. No, 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 no. What? Son, you're brick... Bex? Bex? Ugh, damn it! Let's go save a rainbow deer. Hey, leave it alone, you little turds! Grab! That <laughs> little turds. What am I doing with all this matter? Like, do I just have a hand? Do I just have a, a handful of poop? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna clean all of this up so I can chase that deer some more. I love that the, the motivation of this level is basically like squirrel. So my character saw a squirrel and has to chase it. Ronnie, I lost your signal. Everything okay? Yeah, sure. It's just... I, I think the animal might be hurt. I I want to check on it. Why this obsession with animal care? Just feels like we should be focusing on more practical matters. It's not like we haven't got zoos back home. Minihood says that they think I actually have a backpack full of poop. That makes more sense. Yeah, of course, you can see these, like, cables connecting my arm to my backpack. By the way, this character... Look at all the crap she's got attached to herself to create secondary motion. The big cables connecting to her hand are the best. sitting here talking about how hard it is for me to get to a point where there's a satisfying conclusion and at the same time uh, so that I can you know quit the game and uh, make lunch for my son and my daughter but at the same time I'm also picking up every single resource that I see <laughs> but I mean this game is designed to appeal to people who like you know those kinds of like satisfying cleanup experiences Interesting. The cable is now floating in the air in a weird way. It's not dangling as much as it was before. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're okay. Now it will eat me. You're saying hello, aren't you? Hi. Hi there. My character, character definitely needs to wash her face. <laughs> All right, off you go. Whoa, whoa, what is this? What the hell is that? Whoa, that thing is massive. Hey, Pax, looks like we're not the first intelligent life on this rock after all. I mean, there are structures all over this area. What? Yeah. There were definitely people living here. I hope you're sure about the past tense. Not up for alien encounters. Sure looks deserted. I'll send you some scans. Let's see. Well, 
another one of these cases of I don't know which way to go. I don't know which way to go. You know, it looks like I'm about to start a pretty big, complicated level, and I've kind of been putting off feeding my kids for too long, so I'm going to have to cut it here. But uh, thank you for hanging out with me, and of course, if this looks fun, I mean, if it looks satisfying to be vacuuming up all of this gunk and yanking up all of these, you know, vegetables out of the ground, basically, uh, you're right. It is really fun. It is really satisfying. <laughs> so um, if you're interested, so this game is, I believe, on Game Pass, uh, so... If you've got Game Pass, go grab it and check it out, because why not, right? Uh, it's, yeah, it's totally worthwhile. And, okay, interesting, I had, I accidentally made my camera sway a little bit. I gotta not touch my desk when I can help it. So, there we go. All right, well, it looks like my audience is on board. They're also telling me I should go feed my kids. <laughs> so let's get out of here. Uh, I'll put a subscribe button up, links to other games, all the usual nonsense. And, uh, yeah, the gunk. Image and form still have it. It's pretty cool.